morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, I'm Kevin here, back again from Personal Tutors. Today the topic that I'm going to cover is the last lesson written by a famous novelist and author, Alphonse Daudet, who was a French novelist. To start with, Alphonse was a class teacher and due to the holocaust that was caused in Fra, due to the Germans invasion and the Prussian army, he actually went ahead and took into the writing. The last lesson is actually a depiction of a teacher and a student who actually went ahead and came to know about the native language and the importance of it. The story goes around two persons, that is a young school going boy named Franz and his teacher Mr. M. Hamel. Franz, as all students, did not like going to the school. He wandered away near the riverbed playing with bird eggs and turning up the stones. Never felt like going to school anyhow. Whereas his teacher, Mr. Hamel, was a person of great wits. He paid importance on learning the language French. Being the native language, he really wanted his students to go ahead and study the French language. Although something went wrong, the plot starts France one day gets up in the morning a bit scared because his sir, Mr. Hamill, wanted them to go ahead and work upon participles in French. He had not covered the topic, had spent time in playing games as all students of all ages do, and was rather scared and a bit reluctant to visit the school today. But he carried on his wits and went ahead. While going to the school, the story gives a synopsis that France at that time was under Prussian invasion. This child could hear the Prussian army men training in the neighborhood. While crossing the road, he saw a few villages surrounding a notice board. And to his horror, the notice board was an order passed by the Prussian government that the native languages would be eradicated from the school syllabus and they would only be learning German as a language. All the study had been converted into the language German. This was a shock for France as well. Since he did not care learning the language, the basics, still a person goes ahead and loves his native language. I'll go ahead and discuss the brief of this in the question and answers ahead. As usual, this little guy turns up to his school and finds the unusualness present. The kids going ahead and running around, throwing their bags, jumping on the bench, the teachers entering the classes, the school bell ringing. It was nothing of that sort out there. He went ahead and entered into a strange, eerie, gloominess. There was a silence all around. When he went ahead and peeped in into his class, he saw Mr. Hamill sitting in the corner as if waiting for him and the children quietly awaiting his command. And there were a few villagers as well in the classroom who were dressed in the native French uniform. That is a three-sided hat and a long coat and all. He did not understand the crux of the plot at that very moment. My dear friends, a little France over here came ahead and overheard Mr. Hamill greet him rather than going ahead and shouting at him at being late. Mr. Hamill was especially calm today. He was really gloomy. Well, he was dressed in the best attire. Franz got seated and then he came to know that his horror had come true. Today was the last day of Mr. Hamill in the school. Mr. Hamill, to give a brief idea, was a person who taught for 40 years in this very school. He spent 
almost a long lifetime in the school teaching the villagers the children about the basics of the language the basics of the education in the native language alas the order came to eradicate the french and in the german language and to the education system it was a major setback my friends if you go ahead and experience this thing on your own just try to reconcile the fact that your country is invaded by some other country and you are asked to lock up your native language and learn the invaded country's language how would you feel that was the same feeling that france was going through and the fellow villagers as well as mr hamel were going through mr hamel was actually a bit saddened on the fact that although after giving out 40 years of his life to the development of the school his students and the villagers never really actually appreciated the value of the language france too somewhere felt sad on the fact that all the language books all the french material that he used to carry in his bag seemed to be a burden to him but today alas that burden felt the most precious jewel to him he was so saddened by the fact that tomorrow the new german teacher would be coming in and mr hamel would be leaving he confirmed this fact while hearing his sister upstairs packing the bag and getting ready for the journey the agony and the pain franz felt is given out by a statement in the story where he says are they going to make the pigeons even learn the german <laughs> now my friends the statement actually has a depth of agony and pain in it he actually went ahead and blamed the germans that how could they do that how could they impose a language on a country all the countrymen children elder young men everybody would be going ahead and conversing in german the german had been declared an official language now thus the statement about the pigeons goes as how can he control how can a country control the freeness of the birds the freedom of desire franz was really set back on this fact the story actually goes ahead and narrates the relation between a teacher and a student franz actually felt always that his teacher was a strict fellow yet today he came to know the another part of mr hamel that mr hamel is not actually a strict person but he really knew the value of the native language that was the french and he really wanted to go ahead and teach the villagers the value because the greatest value of knowing the native language keeps a man free by heart that is the freedom of expression that one person can gain while having the language of his own and this really was a command the teacher went ahead and actually was saddened by the fact when he called out france and asked him to turn up the lesson and explain or give a brief about participles Where, since franz has not gone ahead and covered the topic he was a bit saddened on the fact and even the principal was saddened and uh, uh, he said you guys don't like to study even at uh, at times i don't feel like teaching you because he found the protagonist not interested in going ahead and learning the native language of their own so that was the turning point that the teacher exclaimed and here the kids and the villagers realized the value the input that mr hamel had given into the education system of the village so this story is actually going ahead and giving us a brief synopsis of the german invasion during the second world war and franz really feels that the teacher is heartbroken by the fact that now no more the nativity would be remaining in the village coming up to the question and answers now i'll go ahead and brief you a few question and answers question number 1 is what changes did the order from berlin cause in the school the order from berlin actually went ahead 
and ordered the schools in the district of Lorraine and Assac to quit learning French and starting up the syllabus in German. Now this actually was a sad thing for the school people. The next question is how did France react to the declaration that it was their last French lesson? France was shocked. All his life he had the opportunity to learn his native language yet today he comes and gets a fact to know that today would be the last day of the language that he desired to learn. He was remorseful on his deeds. He was finding himself guilty that although Mr. Hamill tried his best, yet France did not give his best. The next question is, why were the elders of the village sitting in the classroom? The elders actually supported Mr. Hamill's thought of teaching the French language to the students in the school. They really went ahead and respected the idea of Mr. Hamill going ahead and teaching the language to young kids. Giving out the knowledge of native language is actually a legacy being forwarded. The villagers really appreciated Mr. Hamill's presence and they wanted to celebrate his outgoing today. So they were present in the class. Our language is a part of our culture and we are proud of it. Describe how regretful M. Hamill and village elders are for having neglected their native language. All their lives, all their childhood, the villages including France had gone ahead and been most unrespectful and unthankful to the efforts being put by Mr. Hamill to make them learn the native language. They were really saddened by the fact today that their native language was being pulled apart and some other language was being imposed on them. They were remorseful, they were sorry, they were guilty and they almost could not bear the grief. So guys, these are some questions and answers for the topic that I've mentioned today. If you want to go ahead and know something about us, just click the About Us button. You can get the data online as well and in a pen drive. For more details, just call us. This is Kevin Lopez. Thank you very much from Personal Tutors. See you again.